A growing need of what mental health professionals are calling an underserved community. Garland County sitting above the state average with 51% of released inmates from prison returning to the prison system, many of them battling substance abuse, putting them at much higher risk. Now there's a group trying to change that and help curb some of those growing numbers. Jessica Rank joining us now in the studio with more on this. And Jessica, what can you tell us about this program? Is it working? Yeah, Bob, well, this program is being spearheaded by the professionals at the Wachita Behavioral and Wellness Center. The team is investing $1.2 million to help those with substance abuse who get out of jail stay out. I felt like I was standing in quicksand uh, living that lifestyle and there's just no way to climb out of it. Alyssa Wright sits in the Wachita Behavioral Health and Wellness Center reliving a hard past with strangers she now calls family. It has been a long time since I felt so hopeful. Alyssa was just 11 when she started experimenting with drugs. I was dealing with a lot of anxiety and depression and once I started using um, I've realized that you know wow this is this I don't feel bad anymore. For years Alyssa says she fought a battle with no winner. You feel like you're not good enough or you're never going to be good enough. Alyssa spent four years in and out of incarceration due to substance abuse. Something 29% of Arkansas inmates face. It's underserved. Sandra Gonzalez is head of a new program at the Wachita Behavioral Health and Wellness Center. It's designed for people like Alyssa, out of incarceration, seeking mental and substance abuse help. We're able to go in and um, really help take care of a lot of the people who don't have anything. The program, two years long, takes clients through therapy, job search, and recovery. This creates a bridge for those people. And provides a support system many forgot was possible. It feels really great, so um, it, it's, it's emotional a little bit. Three months ago, Alyssa was walking out of jail, unsure of who was going to be in her corner. But today, I'm standing on a rock. She's got a team behind her. This battle, she knows she can win. Now, the program was paid for using a federal grant. At the moment, it will help pay for 125 inmates transitioning from incarceration back to normal life. The leaders say they hope if the program is successful to expand in the future. Live in studio, I'm Jessica Rank for KRK4 News.